Deanna, I want to thank you for sitting with me for your reading. Can I please share with you what Spirit has brought forward for you? Yes, please. So your loved ones come forward for you at this time. I have two people and I don't know if they've passed away. Um, I have mother and father that come together. Are they both here? Yes, they are. The reason why they come together is because they wish to speak of how important family is to you. Is family important to you? There. I'm just, I'm so close with them. I was with them this weekend. I see them and I talk to my mother every day. So the fact that her soul had to come and tell me what she tells me on the phone and in person means that they really do have a message. You hold such love and respect in your heart for those whom you cherish most is what they're saying. That you hold that space for people as well, that you mm -hmm. love and that you cherish. Now, do you have a large family or a large circle of friends? Because your parents have been surrounding you with lots of activity and people. They're saying that you thrive when you're in an element of working with and connecting with people. So I make friends everywhere I go. And I've been busy and active in all different things in life and I make connections with people and so I have a lot of and I have a lot of very dear and close friends that I still hang out with from high school. They also say that you do not shy away from being featured in the spotlight is what they're saying. That, would, that sounds like something they would say. Okay, the spotlight means that you are not leading with your ego, you're not leading with an ego, but you have an animal totem which is the peacock totem. So the peacock totem energy comes through you, this enhances your ability that needs to be seen to be witnessed and to be validated by the outside. Non-egotistical. Okay. All right, I need to be witnessed. I need to put myself out there. You're not someone who needs to be in a cubicle by yourself. You need to be witnessed. Do you understand that? I do. I love making people laugh. So I, I do monologues from time to time and, and I dance and I laugh. My laugh is not quiet. It's very loud. I wish it wasn't that loud. I can't help myself. It, it, you know what, I was born this way. You also hold tremendous exterior beauty, which is what Spirit is saying. The question was, are you into aesthetics or cosmetics at all for your career, or do you just have a strong interest in this area because it was coming up around you? Which blows my mind because <laughs> I have freelanced as a makeup artist since I was 18 years old, and I'm 51. Wow. I brought my makeup with me just in case anybody needed any help. I actually went to school for aesthetics when I was 28 years old. So that was pretty weird. I never practiced it. Spirit is saying, um, putting your best foot forward. Dad was referencing that. So has your father taught you over the years, we put our best foot forward? Definitely, he was, he was a naval officer. Okay, so, okay. That was a very strict household. He's also referencing that when life hands you lemons, you make lemonade and you pick yourself up you move forward. He seems to have the motto that we don't dwell on things. Does that make sense? Absolutely. <laughs> Naval officer, very hard, very tough. Um, he has been a much better grandfather than he was a father. Much more gentle um, and funny. I completely get him. I'm not his biological daughter. He adopted me when I was very young as a baby and I am so close to him. He says that he wanted to make sure that you knew your true worth and value in your life. He didn't want to push you, but he wanted to inspire you to be all that you could be. He's the one that told me I should have done makeup for a living. Okay, so he's not trying to push, no. but he's, he's like, I know her potential. I know her capabilities. That is what he's trying to bring forward. He says that he can challenge you to do things because you're not one to quit or to let others dictate what you should and shouldn't do. He says that he likes your natural spunk and charisma. That's what he's bringing forward. He's strongly encouraged. And, and maybe judged you if you didn't. Well, but he has been on my case for a good part of my adult life saying that I should have done the makeup and I should have done the aesthetics because I was so good at it and I didn't do it. Now your mother comes forward for you. Now she was wiping away the tears. So mother comes forward for you today and she wipes away the tears from your eyes. She says that any sadness you've ever felt in your life is meant to make you stronger and more resilient, okay? She said that you've done an exceptional job of holding the family together when everyone needed support. Holy she God. says that she's proud of you for your strength, for your intention and your ability to dig deep when you needed to the most. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. I'm gonna just get you to hold your thought for one second because she was referencing timeframes. 
Okay. There was a spin between the months of June to September. I managed to pull the family back together when it fell apart. And it was acknowledged by the parents and, and the other family member. The family had a complete meltdown. And nobody was talking and there was venomous things that were being said and feelings hurt and nobody talking and I had nothing to do with it. So I just kind of waited for the water to stop boiling and I went in and just had words. I have an, an acknowledgement actually also from a grandmother. So this is mom's mom. Has she passed? Yes. Okay, so she's coming forward. So unfortunately, your mom and dad had more to say um, for you, which was awesome messages. So grandmother comes forward. Um, you're saying she's crossed over. She was thanking you as well. So this again, we're going to the next level. She is thanking you for being an exceptional woman that you are is what she says. She says that you hold great vision, wisdom and discernment in your life, that she's proud of you for the woman that you are today as well. So Wonderful. that's very important for her as well to thank you. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody likes to be appreciated for any hard work, especially, you know, if it came with a price tag. If there's a price tag that, you know, came with some of that hard work, even though you don't, you don't look for it or expect it. If somebody comes back and says thanks, it's like, you know what, then I will. That just gives you that motivation just to keep going. She says, keep on keeping on. Don't look back. Mm -hmm. You have all you need with your being. You are awesome just as you are. Yes. That is what she's saying. Your sacred theme, again, is all is well. Everything is as it should be. Whoa. It's just wow. You know, it just shines light on things you already know are hope. 